What? Let's go, go champ. champ. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. Dude, I don't know if you know. You probably don't even know this, man, but that saying is so simple, but you having a bad day, you watch you say it one time, it pumps your ass up. You're ready to go. It's on. Hey, look, it's ours. It's ours. It's for the people, champ. For sure. Are you doing bare knuckle now? Nah, not really. I'm tra I'm, I'm still doing, you know, regular boxing. I'm, 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 I'm going to be doing some fights down in uh, Mississippi, some local casinos, and just staying busy just to get back in shape. But I had a question for you. You're, you're an MMA guy, am I correct? Well, I mean, I've been doing martial arts for a while. I know a little bit of things. I said, you know what? You're going to be my new consultant. <laughs> All right. I, I, I fir our first job is this. Let me ask you a question. What MMA fighter would you like to see transition and do a stand-up? Now, look, your boy the other night, what's his name? Anderson. Who up? Huh? Anderson Silva, right? Ooh, he looked good. Oh. He oh. looked good, champ. <laughs> what, what, was, what was your thoughts on that? Oh, dude, you know, I have the only people that I can really think of off the top of my head, and I know this is going to sound silly, but I want to see Derek Lewis do a boxing match. First. Against me? Huh? Against, against you? <laughs> no, I'm not yeah. going to lie. That'd be a payday. Y'all would get paid. <laughs> Yo, he can hit, too. I ain't going to front. Dude, he hits hard. And yeah, like, I, I ain't thinking about him now. Now you got me thinking. Let's, let's make that fight. You my consultant. Let's make the fight. Me and Derek Lewis. Dude, are you are you calling out Derek Lewis on my on my live? <laughs> As we speak right now, Derek Lewis is the champ. Sandy Cannon Briggs, two time heavyweight champion of the world. And I'm right here with my man right now, McJo McDojo, right? And I'm calling you out. Would you like to accept the challenge and step into the boxing ring? All call outs is mandatory, champ. Just yeah. like David Flock David Spark said. All Call outs is mandatory, dude. You're you're that would be a fucking fight I'd pay for because let's let's just get it. Y'all are both heavy hitters, right? You're you're obviously a fantastic boxer. Derek Lewis is dropping dudes left and right. And one thing that's interesting about Derek Lewis is the way that he fights. He has that ability to be able to actually go and find that power in those later rounds. And I would fucking pay for that fight. Damn. I, for that fight. I never thought about him. So what y'all think? What the fans think? Shannon dude. Briggs versus. The Cannon versus Derek Lewis. What's his moniker? Shit. Uh, it's uh, uh, the Beast MMA or the Beast UFC. Something Ooh, like that. The, the, beast, the Beast versus the Cannon. Who, who y'all got? Yeah, man. Fucking tag him. <laughs> who y'all got? Let's, 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 let's see. Let somebody tag him right now. But let, who y'all got in that one? Y'all yeah. like that fight? And the, the beautiful thing about this is like, here, here let, me, let me see if I can actually send him a thing. Yeah, like, send him a thing. Send him a, like an invite. Let's do it. Let's go, champ. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Uh, hold on. It's beast something. Beast. There's no way this doesn't pop up on my fucking thing. Why can't I find it? Here, somebody tag his ass. Help me out. The Beast UFC. There you go. I knew it was something like that. So maybe he just doesn't allow people to tag his stuff like that. The Beast oh, yeah. UFC. Let's see if he pops up. Yeah, Let's he's going to me to send him an invite. For like, I, I think that that would be a hell of a fight. I, I'd love to see that fucking fight. And I, I don't know how his contracts are. Like, I don't know how that cross promotion would go. But well, I, I, well, I know Dana, so maybe so maybe Dana will let him fight me. Maybe. I mean, right now it seems like he's all about trying to get, like, a, a little bit more cross promotion type. And I think, like, from the work that I saw that he was doing with WWE and being close with those guys and seeing, like, guys like Anderson Silva – go over and box. And actually, Izzy Adesanya, I think, even during his contract with the UFC, still took a kickboxing match. So yeah, Joseph just said the beast getting knocked out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's right. I mean, That's right. I, Tell I, him, I, Joseph. The I, beast I, I, getting knocked out. I, I got to throw this out there, man. I am fucking honored that you oh. would even ask me who I think would be a good matchup. Look what my boy said. My boy Sai said, I got the champ by murder. <laughs> Dude, that's a that's a hell of a in the match. first degree camp. You know what kills me is like you got the guys like the Paul brothers, which no no I'm not downing their game. Like I think that at the end of the day they're getting paid, so good for them. But I think that what you're doing right now is a very intelligent business move because what you're doing is you're basically using social media as a way to say, hey, I want to fucking get paid too. I like to fight. I like to get paid. Let's fucking make it happen. I think that's great, <laughs> dude. You versus Derek Lewis will be an incredible fight. I, I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
<laughs> Wait a minute. If I hit Lewis with that hook, <laughs> man, somebody I said, don't know what happened to Lewis. Briggs. That was a rumor for a while, by the way. What? Did you know that rumor? Lewis ain't answering. He's scared. Who else y'all got? <laughs> Give me another name. You, he, got the, he just got the message. And he said, hell no. What, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about He said, hell no. There was a rumor about you and Mike Tyson were going to fight one time. Was there anything true about that? He don't want it. <laughs> what? He don't want it. <laughs> Respectfully, that's the, that's the homie, the OG, the big bro. I just said a little exhibition. You know, nobody hurt nobody, but they don't trust me. <laughs> Look Somebody's at him, y'all. The Ganu. What do you think about Francis Ngannou? Ooh, I like him. Bring him out. Ooh, big, big, more big one. A Nugano. What's his name? How you say it? Francis Nugano. Francis Nugano. Somebody record this and put it on YouTube or something. Francis Nugano. I see you doing your thing. You a big old boy. Look at you, boy. You're big. But look, you know watermelons is big too. But they bust easy. You feel <laughs> me? So listen, Nugano. Let's go, champ. Dana. Let's give him a shot, Dana. Come on, man. Dana, send him to the champ. Dana ain't stupid, though. Dana said, man, you're a cooker, man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody I'm said cooking, you know what I mean? So, you know listen, champ. Is? Excuse me? Do you know who Hasbullah is? No, who's that, brother? So Hasbullah is this little Arabic dude, and he's only, like, this big. Oh, like, okay. He's that, he, looks like, he looks like a kid. But yeah, I like, like him. I, like, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, so Nugano, I'll bust him. Oh, I'll, I'll punch a hole through him. Who else you got, champ? Uh, Icy Mike just said the new Francis sleeps Briggs. <laughs> Who? The new Francis? Who's that? Who? <laughs> Mike. Mike. Mike is a. He's a. He's a, a. A friend of mine. He's like a YouTuber, but he like really speaks like his mind, and I fucking love that about Mike. Bring him up here. Bring him up here. Put him in the chat with us. Fuck it. Add him to the chat. <laughs> Mike, Icy Mikey. Mikey, what's his name? Icy Mike. Okay, Icy. Mike. Get him in here, Big Mouth. <laughs> Get Big Mouth in here. What you say, Mike? Let's do it, champ. Let's go, champ. What you say? What you say? You think Francis can sleep me? I think the Nganu that fought Stipe would put you in the hospital, champ. <laughs> Yo. Hey, Mike. Hey, yeah, Mike. Don't, don't you ever say nothing like that. Hey, Mike, do yourself a favor. Don't you ever say nothing like that again. <laughs> Nobody Damn, puts it. Now hey, listen I to me. You. Listen, listen, Mike. The whole thing when I was in the hospital with Vitaly is because my arm in the first round, my, my, my joint popped in my arm. I went 12 rounds with the, one of the hardest punches in boxing history, Vitaly Klitschko. Look at his record, and guess what? He couldn't even knock me down, champ. No, champ. I don't, I don't think it would be your arm. I think it would be more like your head and your face and your body. This time. <laughs> this is now probably the greatest live I have ever. Yeah, I can't believe you saying that. Listen to me. Hey, I'm on the internet, man. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. When I when I would hit that man so hard, but yo, if I hit him, yo, listen, my my people back in Africa say, man, Shannon, you hit him too hard. <laughs> <laughs> they say you hit them too hard, champ. Listen to me, man. Trust me. It's not a it's not I love this crossover, but it's not a UFC heavyweight alive that can stand up to this shit right here. This ain't normal. Look, Mike, look, Mike, look, Mike, look, Mike, look, look. It's a very large hand. It's impressive. <laughs> it's a very big hand. You all I, all I can tell you is I don't want none of it. <laughs> Be a Rob, don't. That's why we talk on the internet. That's why we don't do that. <laughs> if, if I get, if, if if I was to fight, what's his name, Francis Naguyu? <laughs> Whatever. I bust him. I, 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 I stop him with a body shot. Mm -mm. Body. <laughs> hey, what you think about Rampage? What y'all what think about me and Rampage? Oh, I'd love to see that, actually. I I think the press conferences would be good. I don't know about the fight. <laughs> Why, how do you think, you think he could beat me, too? I think, no, I think you got Rampage. No, I, my original was Derek Lewis, because I thought that that would be a fun match. It would be fun. It would be, someone would go to sleep, for sure. Yeah. It wouldn't be me. <laughs> Somebody I, said what about Stipe. 
Oh, uh, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that, Rob. Don't do that to Stipe. <laughs> I like Stipe. Stipe's I like Stipe, man. Don't do that to Stipe. What about Tito Ortiz? Oh. He's, he's washed up. That's a, that's a big-ass head. And I'm not just saying that. I got a big-ass head, too, but that's a lot of head to hit. <laughs> Big target. <laughs> you know I'm saying, like, I, I'm actually curious what's going on with him because I haven't seen him like in the limelight in a while. I think he's like no longer on like the political thing or whatever. Yeah, he better. Actually, but. actually, champ, uh, Nganu probably is. Nganu or Derek Lewis are probably the best answers for your current your current project that you're working on. They uh, are scared of me. You're no, no. In, you're safer with Lewis though, and Ganu would Ganu put a hurting on you. I'll be. I, I bet you. I bet you. If I wanted to, I could knock Ganu out in one round. But because no. it's UFC or, or MMA, I like to beat him and just have him embarrassed and beating him and beating him until he just submit. Submit. But listen, champ, did you see the clip of you say you want to stop him with the body shot, right? Yeah. You saw the clip. Of Ryan Garcia hit him in the body, and he hit him up. And I know Ryan, and I know Ryan Garcia hits harder than you, so I don't see how you can. Stop him with the <laughs> what? <laughs> now you're just being a dick. <laughs> Dude, he hit him a bunch of times, champ. <laughs> I I I don't I I kind of want to interject, but I kind of want to hear the rebuttal. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't know we were smoking weed right now, but that's cool. <laughs> hey hey, Briggs isn't anywhere near me, is he, Rob? Geographically speaking, <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to light a joint. I had to light a joint. Thank you. Calm the nerves for the bullshit. Mike's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, but for real, I'm dead serious. I, I really would love to see you fight Derek Lewis. I think, one, the press conference would be fucking amazing because they bo you both are great when it comes to press conferences, and Derek Lewis is hilarious. Two, you're both heavy hitters. Derek Lewis takes punishment well into the later rounds and still can find knockout power. Um, and then, you know, obviously you still have knockout power as well. I, I that's, that's a beautiful fight. I'd love to see that. Hey, yo, let me ask you a question. Are you guys familiar... That um, one time George Foreman for a five minute one night. No, oh, I didn't hear that. What are you yeah. talking sparring or like actual battles? fights? Yeah, fights. Real. Yeah, look it up. You Google it. It was in Canada, I believe. He yeah. fought. I think it was five men in one night. Check it out. You can get every MMA top heavyweight fighter that ever lived, and it could be ten of them, and in one night. I beat the shit out of all of them. Ooh. 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 But oh, not in Ghana. No. Except for in Ghana. And Ghana <laughs> and his twin brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look this up because I'm curious about this. So George Foreman, and you said five fights in a night? Yes, brother. Holy shit. It pops up in the Google search. I told you. The night George Foreman beat five men in an hour in front of I my told you. It was March 26, 1974. George Foreman obliterated fellow heavyweight Ken Norton inside two rounds in the Venezuelan capital of whatever the fuck that's called with a series of power punches that left former U.S. Marine rendered flat on his back. He, this actually happened. 1974, George Foreman beat five dudes in one night. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> And he did it in front of Muhammad Ali. No pressure. <laughs> now, was this was that before or after they fought? Uh, I believe that might have been after. I'm not sure, actually. Because that would have been an interesting thing to, like, fight five dudes, knock five dudes out. And George, back in the day, though, was a super quiet dude. But it would have been th something if George was, like, standing in the middle of the ring after fighting five dudes and just calls out Ali. I want you. It would be great. Hey, yo, Mike, let me ask you a question. Uh... Who you got? Who you got for against Fury against uh, against Wilder? Oh man, I don't like to speak on boxing too much because I don't really know what I'm talking about. Um, wait, wait, no, good answer. <laughs> but go ahead. That that one, I I that one's too kind of crazy. I think like so many different things could happen. I I would it'd be stupid for anybody to say I know that this is gonna happen. Or I know that that's gonna happen. 
How about you, champ? Mo I, dojo. I, I'm a little more curious about this comment, and I, I would like to know what you have to say, actually, about this. Franklin, or Frank, says, uh, y'all want to fight MMA fighters and take away who's restricting them to boxing rules. What do you think about that? Say that again? Say that again, champ? Uh, he said, uh, the comment says, sorry, I have to go find it. He says, y'all want to fight these MMA fighters and take away their tools by restricting them to boxing rules. What do you think about that? 100%. I do not want to get choked. <laughs> I do not want to get kicked, kneed, elbowed. <laughs> I don't want, I, no, brother. I want no parts of that. That's that's honesty. <laughs> not that's at all. So that he's one of the only boxers, Rob. He's one of the only boxers that just says it flat out, like, "Yeah, no, that sucks. I don't. Know. I'm not doing that. I don't do that." Well, as you should. I yeah. fought in K1. I fought in K1 in Japan, and um, I remember that I was in a. You know, he was known for being a kickboxer, and uh, he kicked me brutally for a few times, and I said, "I, I can't believe it. I, I can't believe this pain." It's un unbearable. And then uh, I said, if he kicked me again, I'm going to fall down. But I, I, he kicked me again. I was just so crazy mad. I hit him, and I knocked him out. So with that being said, I, I went to sleep that night, you know, in the hotel. And everything was fine. And then when I woke up in the morning, champ, my whole leg was black and blue from the beginning of my hip all the way down. I, I didn't know what the – I'd never seen nothing like that. It was purple, like – I was, and this was just when I went to sleep. It was I was like, yo, I couldn't believe it, man. So I said to myself, I'll never do this again. <laughs> but <laughs> it made me respect. And also uh I learned that kicking made my punching my punching power harder. Learning to kick or trying to uh, kick. Because just you. just the, the fact of me turning my hip like that when I never used that motion. For so yeah. many years, you know, my range is, is that short. So just the whole kicking and even even learning how to check, block the, block the kicks to check, bro, just doing that, lifting my legs, lifting my legs, it made my punching power so much harder, which the punches, the power comes from the floor. So, which, Frank, just to toss this in there, Craig just says, please fight a UFC fighter to prove you would beat them all. Literally, if you just tuned in, so far he has called out Derek Lewis, he has called out Francis Ngannou. And did I miss anybody? Tito Ortiz. Tito Ortiz. Rampage. Like, for it. Like, he's Rampage. asking to fight these guys. This Ram is Rampage. Fight. Anybody. that that, Especially if they're they going to a name because that's what it's about, you know? Us packing the place and, you know, make, making it interesting. If not, it's just no, who, who cares? Nobody's going to see it. Rampage and Tito, are, aren't they? wouldn't they be a little small? Aren't, wouldn't they be a little small? I don't okay, Rampage yeah. too big right now. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, at, you're at least what? You're at least what, man? 2 210, 215? Yeah, 280. <laughs> 280, but I'll go down to fight 250. Oh, there you go. I mean, that's just 30 pounds. That's not, you know, that's pretty. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That ain't I mean, nothing. 30 pounds, I look like a cancer patient. That ain't nothing. <laughs> so. I am, I am, I am loving how this is going, though. I think this is pretty cool, man. A little impromptu live, and I wasn't even expecting that. So, but I, all right. So let's keep this train rolling, man. So, who he asked me, so why not ask you? Who would you like to see him fight, Mike? Uh, well, well, Derek Lewis would be entertaining, but I like the cannon. I'm a big fan, so I don't want to see him fighting Ganu. Well, I don't want to, uh, come on, man. I don't want to see that happen, man. Stop I don't want to see that happen, man. Stop no, man. Playing. He's too fast. He's too explosive. He's too – he's just too – And I, I don't know if you have enough power in your hands to actually put him down, man. I think he'll, yeah. I think he'll, he'll run circles around you. Run circles around me meaning what? Like running from me, you think? No, I think he'll just hit you from just angles that just are uh, unexpected to a, bo to a boxer that he's yeah. just going to move – in a confusing way, but also have power and speed and ferocity to back it up. And you know what's crazy? Um, I seen him working with Teddy Atlas. You know what I'm saying? I see. You ever see that clip? So yeah. So the Fran Francis Ngannou from a year ago, you would beat, e I think, handily, easily in a boxing match um, because he was just 
he trained in all this boxing, and when he shadow boxed, he looked like that. But then when he would fight, he would just turn into a windmill. But the way he fought Stipe was intelligent and measured and technical. And if he can do that, I think he gives any boxer of any size a problem. So you've seen him training with Teddy Atlas. What you thought of that? I think that's exactly what he needed to do because he needed somebody to um, uh, harness him, you know, like get him under control because he was just too wild. And I say too wild. It's stupid for us to say, oh, he's too wild and has no technique when he's, like, knocking people out and winning titles you think, that you way. Think, you think Teddy will let him fight me? Um, you know, Teddy I, used to train me. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Pro probably. This it, would be, it, 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 didn't, it didn't end well. <laughs> it didn't end well between you and Teddy? Nah. Then Why? maybe he wants him to fight you. I mean, you know, you know, it is what it is now, but it, you know, it, it just what it, it was for the time. It was, it wasn't a good time. So you think Teddy would say, "Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna shut Shannon up and let this big big brother beat him up." Yeah, I don't know. You and Ngannou is a big money fight. That's so much money. That is think, so much or, or do you think Teddy said to himself, "Nah, Shannon ruined ruin everything. Shannon might hit this man <laughs> flat, put him into a." Convulsions and right, so, so, Teddy, his neck. And so then, Teddy Atlas has trained you. Yeah. And he's trained in Ganu. Yeah. No, I don't think you he's think, worried about Ngannou. You, you don't think he want to be one of the Paul Bearers for Ngannou? <laughs> I don't. If he's trained with both of you, I'm sure he's not worried about Ngannou because he knows. You think he, he want to be one of them Paul Bearers over nah, there? Africa? <laughs> it's hot over there. It's how you got to. You think you think he gonna want to fly all the way to Africa? <laughs> <laughs> to be a ball bearer, just to be a ball bearer, where 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 he could have said to himself, you know, I could have stopped this. I could have said, Shannon, nah, let's not do this. It's not a good idea. But no, he listened to guys like you, and now he a ball bearer in a hot ass suit over in Africa, carrying this heavy mother. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, champ. <laughs> no, I think he would be most likely he'd be up there standing in uh uh next to Nganu in the ring after the fight saying while Nganu's saying, you know, big respects to you, this you, legend. You think I you, hate that I had to do that to him, think, but I was you know, you that think, sort of thing. So you think how's it how's it how does it is how does it is over Africa? Teddy Atlas wanna be in over there in a hot ass suit carrying this heavy ass cast. <laughs> you know, ah, you say, man, I could have just avoided this, ignored this video, <laughs> and just mind my business, and everything would have been okay. Now I'm stuck over here. I had to get all these shots, malaria, <laughs> and everything. I had to get all these shots. Nah, I love Teddy. I love Ang on YouTube, but I break his jaw. He ain't, this ain't, this ain't. This ain't MMA. He had choked me out. I wouldn't last 20 seconds with him. If he rushed me, <laughs> all I could do is pray. <laughs> all I could do is pray if he grabbed me. But if it comes to just them hands, the Marcus uh, Queensberry rules that the great country of England put forth, man, with those rules, Marcus, Marcus and Queensberry, with those rules, man, I'm telling you, I beat them. I, first of all, he'd be like he a Sunny Liston looking dude, you know, and I'm the I'm 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 the the greatest of all times in this fight. It'll be he'll be Sunny Liston, you know what I'm saying, and I'll be and I'll be Cassius Clay. But but, Chad, two. What's that, but Chad, you said he could he could choke you, but that's not how he beats people. He puts grown men to sleep with just his hands. That's all he does, just his hands, puts them to sleep in seconds. Come on, In man. seconds. Let me see this. I got to watch him because I ain't seen none of don't, don't, you talking Don't about. do it because then you'll pull out of the fight. If you I watch would, him fight, you won't want to do it anymore. You, you know, I like you funny. I don't like you now. I'm really, I knock you out too, by the way. <laughs> well, <laughs> I knock you out too, by the way. <laughs> let's, let's have a K, make, make it K1. Make it nah, K1. <laughs> nah, nah, listen to me. I hope somebody record this, man. <laughs> Oh, it's recorded. <laughs> okay, because I want to make sure that uh, Teddy and Nuganyu, what is Nuganyu, whatever his name is, I want to make sure they see it. I, well, what I'll do is these are automatic. I can I can choose whether or not to save these or not. I'm definitely saving this shit. And yeah. then what I'll 
do is I'm going to take out just the section of all of us talking here, and then I'll post that up, and then I'll okay. tag so that way they're aware. So okay. But, but Rob, Sam, I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go take care of my kids. Man, and, you, guys, uh, you guys have a great day. You and the kids, man. Do me a favor before you. you go. But, hey, before Kim, you go, don't I don't like you do it. I don't like you too much. But before you go, I, let, let me get a let's go champ. <laughs> Let's go, champ. That's my boy. <laughs> Let's go, champ. <laughs> I like you now. <laughs> All right, champ. Hey, man. Thank you, champ. I appreciate you hopping in, man. That was a pretty cool and unexpected of you to hop on in, man. And I, uh, I'll definitely take this. I'll chop it up. I'll put it out there so that way people can hear it. And I guess it's time for weed the clock for me as well. <laughs> All right, champ. Listen, uh, I got my own cannabis strain. It's called Cannabis. Okay? One of my premier products is the Cannon OG. All right, shit. let's go, champ. <laughs> well, how about let's go and send me some of that shit? <laughs> Ooh, look at him, y'all. Legally and only, only in dispensaries. Let's go, champ. I got you. I All right, brother. Peace. All right, man. Have a great day, dude. You Thanks. too, brother.